Hey preschool friends, I am so excited to tell you about something fun that we are doing next Sunday. We're inviting you to roll out of bed and show up in your PJs and join us for PJs and pancakes next Sunday. Tell your parents, bring your friends, and let's have some pancakes together, all right? Hey preschool friends, we're so glad you're here with us today because there are big things happening around Ascent. Can you use our accessories as a clue to what's happening? That's right, if you're in the building today, you're in a new room because we are under construction. construction. That's right friends, we have new Ascent Kids rooms that are being built, but that means we're in a new space just for a little while. And guess what? We still have all of our fun Bible stories and Ollie the Owl and worship. So we have great things in store for you, including today where we're gonna learn about someone who teaches us very important things. So I have a question, Miss Terry. Yes. Who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things and he teaches you important things. Before we get to our Bible story, why don't you stand on up and get to worshiping? Three, two, one. Ah! You teach me how to love. You teach me how to share. Jesus, you teach me to be kind. And in all I do, to have a good attitude. You're teaching me now. You're teaching me now. You're teaching me now. Oh. from our friend Ollie. He hid three clues inside this pool about important things Jesus teaches us. Do you think you can help me find the clues? Great, it's time for clue number one. Oh look, it's a coat. We wear coats to stay warm when it's cold outside. I wonder what it's doing here. We should look for the next clue and find out. Oh look, I found a water bottle. We all need water, especially when we play outside. My dad always makes sure I have a water bottle when I play outside. We have a coat and a water bottle. That's two clues. We need to find one more. It's an apple. I love apples. They're a super tasty snack. We have a basket of apples in the kitchen so I can eat one whenever I'm hungry. 
We found all three of the clubhouse clues. We have a coat, a water bottle, and an apple. I think I have it. These are all things we need. Who? Who? It's Holly. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Found all of my clubhouse clues, did you? Yes, Ollie. They are all things we need. Yes, you've got it. It's all true. Jesus teaches that someone takes care of you. Listen to this story and follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. I was just delivering the mail and admiring this beautiful day God made. The birds are singing and, oh, I see a few beautiful flowers starting to bloom. <sighs> that reminds me of today's Bible story. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with our good friend Jesus. One day, Jesus went and sat down on the ground with his disciples and began teaching them important things. Would you like to hear what Jesus taught them? Great! Jesus said, look at the birds. Oh, look at those sweet birds. Jesus taught his disciples that God takes care of the birds. Think about it. Do birds have refrigerators in their trees? No! And do birds go to the grocery store? No! And do they just get a kid's meal in the drive-thru? No! Jesus taught that God takes care of the birds. They don't have to plant a garden. God made trees and bushes that give them food. Next, Jesus told his disciples to look at the flowers. Flowers are so pretty. God made flowers with the most beautiful colors. What colors do you see? Yes, that's right, I do too. I see red and yellow and pink and blue. Jesus asked his disciples, do you think these beautiful flowers are worried about what to put on so they will look beautiful? No! God already made the flowers beautiful. Jesus taught his disciples that God takes care of the flowers and God takes care of the birds. Jesus told this story to teach us something very important. God loves us more than flowers and birds. And if God takes care of flowers and birds, that means that God will take care of us too. We don't need to worry about what we're going to eat or drink. Just like God takes care of the birds and gives them food to eat, God will take care of us. We don't need to worry about the clothes we're going to wear. Just like God takes care of the flowers and gives them beautiful colors to wear, God will take care of us. Jesus teaches us that we don't have to worry. God will take care of us. I'm so glad Jesus teaches us important things. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me. Who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God takes care of me, and God takes care of you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you, who, who? Wow, Jesus teaches me important things like God will take care of all of us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Ooh, I can use this periscope to look at the birds and the flowers outside. See you next time, bye! The people were amazed 
at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. The people were amazed at his teaching. Matthew 7, 28. Thanks so much for joining us, friends. We'll see you right back here next week for more worship and Bible stories. That's right. And don't forget, next Sunday before service is our PJs and Pancakes Day. So come dressed in your PJs and get ready to eat up all those pancakes. We'll see you then. Hey, preschool friends. I am so excited to tell you about something fun that we are doing next Sunday. We're inviting you to roll out of bed and show up in your PJs and join us for PJs and pancakes next Sunday. Tell your parents, bring your friends, and let's have some pancakes together. All right?